on the 1st of August 2008, a rare and awe-inspiring event will take place, a total solar eclipse. Skies over Canada, Greenland, Russia, Mongolia and China will darken, as the sun is completely blocked out by the moon. Over the centuries, these striking events have inspired countless inquiries and questions, so we pose some to our resident eclipse experts. Uh, a solar eclipse takes place whenever the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, and some portion of its shadow passes across the Earth's surface. One of the uh, important things is, as many people have probably heard growing up, you should never look at the sun directly because it would damage your eyes. And the same thing is true during an eclipse. The only time when it's actually safe to look at the sun is exactly at totality. So otherwise, you need to either have special glasses with a filter, or you can have a filter on a telescope, or if you have a telescope that projects the image onto a screen, or even you can make a pinhole camera that projects the image onto a screen. During a total eclipse, it gives scientists a rare opportunity to make direct measurements of the sun's corona with all types of instruments and measure it at uh, different wavelengths, uh, measure it at different frequencies, once a second, 20 times a second, 100 times a second, with different size telescopes, which are always improving. Soon we'll be launching, at the end of this year, something called the Solar Dynamics Observatory, uh, which is going to give us an unprecedented view of the sun in a whole bunch of different wavelengths all at the same time and very fast. So we're very excited about that. The August 1st solar eclipse promises to be a stunning event. And while only people in a small area of the world will be able to see the eclipse in person, viewers all across the globe can watch the event on NASA TV and online at www.nasa.gov.